Lockdown gets more and more confusing every day. I mean, when this pandemic kicked off, it was all pretty straightforward. Stay at home or die. Now it's full of contradictions. You can visit another person's garden with four other people from different households, as long as you stay two metres away, unless you wait till next week, when it'll be one metre away if you take precautions, like facing the other way or wearing a plastic bag over your head. Actually, if you wait until next week, two households of any size can meet, which is enough for a rave if you're married to a Roman Catholic like I am. And it looks as if they're going to let us travel on holiday again soon. Problem is, it doesn't matter how many times Michael O'Leary says I'll be fine on one of his planes if I just wear a face mask, I'm just not ready to travel in an aircraft that seats more than about six people, all of whom have to be related to me. So it looks like I'll be spending my holidays in the garden this year. Luckily, we built our homage to Nicky Beach here in the garden last year, complete with a sunshade, or a shade for your dick as the Australians would call it, or that's your sun dick, uh, a six-seater sofa, and some music. Now all we need is a Mediterranean climate for those early evening alfresco drinks. The only answer is to buy a patio heater, which is something I really hate the idea of. I mean, not only do these things emit greenhouse gases which warm the planet, but they literally warm the planet. Anyway, I've made an exception this year because I reckon we've earned a few credits by flying and driving less. Still, I would like to try and make sure my patio heater is as eco-friendly as it can be. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous, a bit like saying I want my super yacht to be as eco-friendly as it can be, but there we have it. Now the thing to bear in mind when you burn fuel is that it transfers heat by convection and radiation, and if you're actually sitting on the fire, by conduction. The problem with gas heaters is that all that convection disappears up into the sky, completely wasted. Electric heaters, on the other hand, deliver more heat by radiation, which doesn't blow away in the wind. Another advantage of electric heaters is the convenience. Gas bottles only last a few hours, so it's quite a big advantage not having to flog backwards and forwards from the garden centre. Not to mention the fact that you won't ever find yourself running out of electricity. So having decided electric, I found a company called heatoutdoors.co.uk and thought I'd opt for one of their units that looks like a stage light on a stand. It's called a shadow diffusion and it's kind of cool in as much as an outdoor heater can ever be cool. The problem is that you had to sit virtually underneath the thing. So I went back to Heat Outdoors who recommended that I upgrade to the Fat Boy 2.4. And here it is. Ah. Now, I have to admit, I have been using this thing for a week or two already. And it is fantastic. I mounted our Fat Boy 2.4 on the top of one of the uprights of our pergola. It's about two meters off the ground and it is about two and a half to the back of the nearest seat and about three and a half, a bit shy of three and a half meters to the back of the furthest seat. Now, I did worry when I bought this thing that it would only throw its heat over quite a small area. After all, it's, it's only about that wide. But no, this thing is seriously impressive. It throws its heat across the entire sofa. Now, the best way to demonstrate this is going to be to wait until it gets dark. And here it is after dark. It's what I imagined Chernobyl looked like in April 1986. Donald Trump could sit out here and you'd never even know he was there. So it's pretty cold out tonight and I'm only wearing a t-shirt and shorts, but uh, with this on the lowest setting, it's still pretty comfortable. But if I rack it up to full power, that's nearly enough to take my eyebrows off. Yes, I really can vouch for the fact that this heater works very, very well. Joking aside, if you want to conserve energy, buy the model with the remote control, put a jumper on and reduce the heat with the remote control. The Fatboy 2.4 is $305.99 for the basic model, $359.99 if you'd like a remote, and if you'd like a stand, that costs another 200 to 250 quid. 
Now, if you know anyone who's staying at home this summer and wants to turn their garden into the Mediterranean, do share this with them. And do subscribe for more reviews of tech and gadgets designed to make life easier. Till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.